they run extremely clean and, and across a very broad range of metals. For example, this particular product is designed to be used on cast iron and steels. So it's got a lower lubrication level, but it's extremely clean. It'll be very good in that particular application. Michael, we're here today to talk um, about a brand new range of coolant products. Um, tell me a little about what they are and, and why you had to develop them. Certainly. Um, we're very excited about our GeoCool line because it, it addresses a need in the marketplace because of the globalization of chemicals. In other words, it's very difficult to come up with formulations that are usable across the entire globe. So these were designed with that in mind, with all of the no's in place. I can't use this, I can't use that. These don't have any of those components, yeah. such as boron, such as formaldehyde. So they're designed really to be used on a global platform. Mm. But performance was the number one key element. And we produced three of these to cover a very wide range of metals. Um, and they're designed so that they can be used to replace a lot of different chemistries. Much lower usage rates, um, very, very low foam, and it has a very good environmental impact because they're designed with gas to liquid oils as the base stock. And we use very little of that, but it provides the protection for the machine tools that typical synthetics do not do. So you get corrosion resistance for the machine tool itself, but Correct. also the performance and the, the better better chipping and that's and correct the low usage rate the very clean environment they run extremely clean and, and across a very broad range of metals for example this particular product is designed to be used on cast iron and steels so it's got a lower lubrication level but it's extremely clean it'll be very good in that particular application Brilliant. And tell me a little bit more about the fact you've, you've managed to develop three different options. Because around the world, there must be so many different cutting conditions, so many different water types. You're talking about, I don't know how many millions and millions of machine shops out there. There are. Um, how have you uh, come to the point, to the conclusion that these three should be, uh, should be performed properly um, around the world? Well, they were designed for a specific series of metals and types of applications. So... For example, this one was the low, low uh, lubricity. This is a medium lubricity that's designed for aluminum applications and steel applications where you need more lubricity, you still need cleanliness, excellent biological control, and no foam, especially in high pressure environments. So all of these particular products are designed with those basic characteristics in mind. Really good oil um, separation, really good longevity in the sump, and no foam yeah. in high pressure environments. And when you're talking about re reducing consumption rates as well, I guess you're looking to the future where we're gonna to have to look at reducing our usage of any mineral-based or synthetic-based oils, regardless of their type, for both for, for, for health of the workplace and also for, for the environment. That's correct. And really, I mean, we've been doing that for a lot of years, designing our technology so that you utilize less of it to accomplish the same number of tasks. Mm. So if you're producing a thousand parts, we should be able to use uh, a significant less amount of fluid to you know, finish, that, uh, finish that project. Let's talk more about the customers that are probably walking around the stands here as we speak. This is an international show. You bet. Um, and that means that there's people here who've got machine shops all around the world. Mm -hmm. um, what's the benefit to them to be able to pick one coolant product and be able to take it from one manufacturing site, let's say in, in Wichita, mm -hmm. and then take it to India, take it to Eastern Europe, take it to uh, Asia. What's the benefit for a customer of being able to pick one coolant product and knowing that it's gonna work around the world? Standardization of their processes. So we have a lot of global customers, almost exactly what you just stated. We have a lot of customers in Wichita, Kansas. We also have customers in India. We have customers all over the globe and many, many here in the, in the EU. So being able to perform and show one location the benefits of the technology, they're able to take that and utilize that in their other facilities doing very similar operations. So they can take those benefits and translate those across the globe. And do you see that, do you see that changing nowadays where people are wanting to uh, produce components closer to where they're being sent to save, uh, save more time in logistics and in travel as well? Um, do you see more customers saying we need to produce where our customers are? Uh, absolutely. 
And in fact, we produce all over the globe. We produce here in Germany with our partner Unicut. We also produce in the United States and we produce in Malaysia for our Asian customers. So we're much closer to our customer base with our manufacturing facilities, making it logistically better for them. Brilliant. With, with products that are identical across the globe.